Hello friends, thank you very much for joining for this video. Here in this video, I will cover on how you can integrate Microsoft Android ID with Salesforce. So, uh, to start, first you need to go to your Microsoft Android ID and go into Enterprise Applications. In the Enterprise Applications, click on to create a new application. We will be finding the Salesforce from the gallery applications. So I'll just type Salesforce and here Salesforce is. So once you find the application, click on create. Give it a few seconds. So still in progress. Okay, it's created. Second step is to click on the setup single sign on. So I'll click on get started. And here you need to go to SAML. So we basically want to get this federation method tag XML from this uh, application. But it will only populate once you have entered some data in the basic XML configuration. So what we will do is we'll click on edit and we'll just add some dummy values here. And once we get the federation metadata XML, we will go to Salesforce and then from Salesforce we'll get the correct values. So click on add identifier and just make sure there's no space. So again, we are just entering some dummy values here. Mm, similarly, for reply URL, also we will enter the dummy value. So what you can do is you can just copy this section and paste it here. I think there is a space before this one. Okay, we are good now. Uh, same URL we can paste here as well in the sign on URL. Okay, click on save. And it'll take a few seconds. Mm, yes, oh, it's done. So we should be able to download the Federation Metadata XML from Entra ID now. So click on download here. Yes, you can see it's downloaded as Salesforce2.xml. We'll use it in the next step. Uh, but before we go to Salesforce console, one more important thing we need to do. We have to choose which users you want to assign this application to. Uh, those will be the users who can log in and access their uh, Salesforce account. So from here, I'll just type Kumar and use a test user by the name of Kumar. Click on select and you also need to assign it a role. So these roles are Salesforce roles. For now, I'll say standard user and I'll say click on select and then you just have to assign this uh, assignment field. Let's go back to the user in groups here. Okay, single sign on. Come back to users in groups. Uh, I think it's done. Okay, so next step we will go to the Salesforce Administrative Console. You should be in the setup. Uh, scroll all the way down till you found identity. And in the identity section, you have to go to single sign on settings. So, in the single on sign on settings, make sure that summer enabled checkbox is selected here. Now, we will create a new single sign on setting from metadata file. When it says choose file, I'll choose my file that I've downloaded from Android ID and click on create. Oh, this all looks good here. Only thing this application name STS does not look very cool. So I'll just change it to Android ID and I'll click on save. Now it will actually uh, populate the metadata from Salesforce site, so I'll click on download metadata 
and my Salesforce metadata file is downloaded. So I'll just open this file in WordPad. So with WordPad, and I'll copy some important values from here, which we need to enter in our Microsoft Android ID application. Uh, first one is Entity ID. So I'll just copy this one. Go to a notepad, and I'll just paste this on my notepad. This is my entity ID. Next, I need my ACS URL or assertion consumer service URL. And this you will find towards on the way, towards the bottom of this file. So I'll just select this one, copy and paste as ACS URL. Okay, uh, we just need one more value from Salesforce and then we need to go back to Android. So this third value that we require is the login URL. So we need to copy this entire login URL here and I'll save it in the same notepad file here. Okay. Okay, next we just need to go back to our Entra ID, uh, Salesforce application, and I'll just go back to single sign on. From here, go to the basic SAML configuration and click on edit. And we'll replace these dummy values that we entered earlier with the correct values that we have in this file. So, first thing that we need to enter is the entity ID. Second, we need ACS URL value. So let me get this ACS URL value. Interestingly, all three values are the same, but always follow the right process because it may be different in your case or maybe due to some other changes, it, these values may be changed in uh, future by Salesforce. So, okay, I've entered all these three values here. Okay, it looks good. I will click on save. Uh, our configuration is saved. So we need to go back to our Salesforce and um, scroll down till you see the company settings. Go to my domain and scroll down till you see something called authentication configuration. Uh, click on edit. And here you, you have to select this entra ID that we have just created and click on save. So that's basically to populate the entra ID login option at the time of login. So that's it. We should be good to test it out. Next, let me open a new incognito window and I'll go to the Salesforce login. And here you can see our traditional form is here. This is local Salesforce login. And um, towards the end of this page, you can also see the option to login with and try the end that is what we want to test it so just enter your user email id here my password and yeah we should be able to log in into salesforce uh, that's it uh, fairly simple and straightforward process let me know in the comment section if you have any queries about it and uh, please like, share and subscribe this video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.